with most of the studies, we go to the parents' houses, so we would have discussed with them on the phone, we would do a screening on the phone, going through the study in further detail, going through the information booklet that they've already had, and getting their um, addresses, checking that's right, and then we would arrange a visit in their house. So on the first study visit, we would come into um, your home and we would go through the study again. And then if you were happy with everything and we'd answered all your questions, we would um, do the consent form. Prior to this, we would have put the cream on the back of both hands here and in our elbows because that takes half an hour to work. And so while we were talking to you and answering all your questions, somebody would be playing with the child. Um, if you didn't want to take part, if you felt the questions hadn't been answered and you wanted to think about it a bit more and you might want it to take part, we can go and come back. So just doing the visit doesn't mean you have to take part. With the babies, we'll often have toys, rattles and things just to distract them. And then one person would be holding the arm. Generally, we would ask the parents to hold the child if they were happy to. Um, somebody would hold the arm. If um, the children are less than six months, we tend to use the hands. So we would either go to the arm or the hands. We take the dressings off and we would have a look at the best place to go. With the older children, we get the parents generally to hold a book over the arm like this. And the children will we'll just be explaining that we're just looking at the arm and giving it a clean. If the children want to watch, they can. Otherwise, they'll be looking at the book and the person holding the arm will interact with the parent and the child and get them to look at the book and the other person will take the bloods. Generally they don't feel anything and we have nice plasters. Um, with the babies often they watch, they're not phased by it. And then as soon as we've done that we tend to give the vaccine straight after that. Depending on the age of the child it would be in the thigh or in this part of the arm. Subsequent um, visits would be, if it was a blood test, would be maximum half an hour really because we asked the parents to put the cream on prior to us coming. So that's all ready to go. So we pretty much come in, check diaries from last time, um, just to chat to the child a bit, get some stickers out and some toys out. And most of them remember the toys, so they're quite excited about the toys. And then we do the blood test, which takes a minute really. Once everybody's happy, we'd go, so that's about half an hour. If they were having a vaccine, that's usually a 45-minute visit at the most because we go through the diary, do a quick temperature, and then give the vaccine um, and wait for a length of time afterwards, generally 15 to 30 minutes. When we arrive at the visit, once we've gone through everything and the whole study's been finished, we will give a diary card, which has two phone numbers in it, the office phone number, which can be used 9 to 5, Monday to Friday, and a pager number so that the parents can contact the study doctor at any time. And um, this can be to do with the study vaccine, um, any concerns that they have, any questions they have, or to do with um, routine vaccines that give, is given within the um, time of the study.